Hello everyone, it's great to have you back on SFDC Ninja and today I am back with another interesting trigger scenario. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's start with the data model for today's scenario. So today we have two objects, account which is the parent object and case which is the child object. On account object, we have a picklist field rating which contains three values, hot, warm and cold. And on case object, we have another picklist field, status which contains many different values. But in today's scenario, we are just going to use value closed. So this is the data model for today's scenario. Now let's see what exactly we are going to do today. So today's requirement is we need to update account rating based on number of closed cases related to account. Let me make it simple for you by a flowchart. Let's say we have an account record. Now there could be three conditions. First, if this account has number of closed cases less than two, then in that case, account rating should be cold. Second, if number of closed cases is more than 2, then the account rating should be warm. And third, if the number of closed cases is more than 5, then the account rating should be hot. Guys, you can modify these three conditions according to you. I choose this condition so that I can show working of code easily. So this is what we need to do today. Now it's time to code. So let's switch to VS Code and create our handler class. Let's name it CRG handler. Let's create our method, public static void, let's say trg method. Now before writing code, we should understand that change is happening on which object or because of which object our trigger will be invoked. And in today's scenario, our trigger will be invoked whenever a change occurs on case object. That's why case will be the object on which we should start our code. So let's pass list of case as parameter in our method like this. Let's say new case list, copy its name, apply a null check on it, is empty, and iterate over it for case, new case, new case list. Now see, in update operation, there could be a situation in which user changes the parent account of case. So in that scenario, we'll be needing both new parent and old parent account ID. And to get that, we are going to use trigger.oldmap. So let's pass another parameter like this. Map ID case, let's say old case map. Copy its name and apply a null check on this map. Not equals to null. And let's create an instance of case using this map like this old case old case map dot get new case dot id basically here we are using get method to fetch old version of case records now our next step is to compare new parent account id and old parent account id of case so let's use if condition like this new case dot account id not equals to old case dot account id and if this condition will get true, then we will add both new and old parent account ID in a set. So for that, let's create a set to store account ID. Set ID, let's say CC IDs, new set ID. Copy this set name and now add IDs in it. Copy this, paste it here. CC IDs dot add line and paste it here so this if condition will run when a user change the parent account of case record but we also need to store account id when a user updates the status field of a case so for that let's use else if like this else if and inside this else if let's write condition like this old case dot is closed not equals to new case dot is closed Basically, this is closed is a standard boolean field that indicates whether a case has been closed or not. If its value is true, then it means that the case is closed. And here, we are checking that if the value of is closed has changed from its previous value to a new value. And if it has changed, then what we will do? We will add account id in our set, like this. CIDs dot add new case dot account id. Now this part of code is to fetch account id only for update operation. But we also need to fetch account id for other operations also. 
like insert, delete and undelete. So for that what we will do, we will use another else if here like this new case dot is closed equals to true copy this line and paste it here. So here instead of executing on operations like insertion, deletion or undeletion for any case record, this else if will only execute when a user insert, delete or undelete a case record with closed status. So now we have account ID for every operation in our set. Now let's apply a null check on this set so that our further code will execute only if this set contains a value. And this set contains a value only when there will be a change on closed case record. So let's apply a null check like this. ICCIDs dot is empty. Now in our next step, we need to fetch number of related closed cases of an account so that we can change account rating according to the count of it. Here see, there could be many ways to fetch related cases. We can fetch them by using inner query or we can also fetch them using map or we can fetch using aggregate query. So in this video, we are going to use aggregate query method. But don't worry, I will provide code for those two methods in description. So please remember to check it. Now let's come to code. Let's create a map to store account ID and case count like this map id comma integer let's say count case count map integer now let's see how we will fetch related close cases let's use for aggregate result let's say result select account id count id let's say case count from case where account id not set is the ids and is closed equals to true group by account id basically from this query we are just fetching closed cases here we are using aggregate function on id of case to count number of related cases and this variable will be used to access that count. Also we have grouped account id because we have not used any aggregate function on it. Now our next step what we will do, we will store account id and case count in our map like this. id account id. See there is a way to access data from our aggregate query. So we need to give here the data type result dot get account id this is for account id integer case count integer result dot get copy this variable name and paste it here and finally put data in our map dot put account id and case count so we have account id and count of related closed cases in our map. Now we just need to update account rating. But for that we need to fetch account data on which change is happening. So let's fetch account data like this. List account. HCC list. Select id. Rating from account. Where id in our set. Apply NL check on this list. It is empty. Iterate over it. Now to make our code simple, let's create a variable to store case count like this. Integer, let's say close case count. And let's store case count using the map which we have created. So copy this map name paste it here dot contains key acc dot id dot get acc dot id see here we are checking that whether this map contains account id or not and if this map contains the key or account id then this line will retrieve the value or count of cases associated with that key or account id so it is ultimately obtaining number of closed cases associated with the account id. 
on the other hand if the map does not contain the key or account id then the code will return a default value which is zero now this is the part of code where we will update account rating according to the number of closed cases but before that let's create a variable to store account rating like this string account rating and let's apply if condition like this closed case count is greater than 5 then the account rating should be hot else if closed case count is greater than 2 then the account rating will be warm else account rating will be cold and finally put this variable in rating field of account acc dot rating account rating now to bulkify our code we will not perform dml inside for loop so for that let's create a list of account here list account let's say list to update new list account copy its name and add account in this list dot add acc apply a null check on this list and finally update it save it and deploy it to org so we have our handler class ready now let's create our trigger let's say rating trg so i already explained earlier that change is happening on case object that's why a trigger will be on case with after event why after event because we need to update parent object field so let's write case here with after insert after update after delete and after undelete now what we will do for update operation we will pass trigger dot new in first parameter and trigger dot old map in second parameter and for other operations we will keep second parameter null so first apply a check like this for update operation if trigger dot is after and trigger dot is update and let's call our handler class method trg handler trg method trigger dot new in first parameter and trigger dot old map in second now this line will be executed only for update operation similarly apply checks for other operations and call our handler class method like this else if trigger dot is after trigger dot is insert or trigger dot is and delete copy it this line paste it here and pass null in second parameter so we are using is insert and is undelete in same else if condition because in both cases we need to pass trigger dot new at last for delete else if trigger dot is after and trigger dot is delete copy this line paste it here and in delete operation we will pass trigger dot old save it and deploy it to org So our code is ready. It's time to see it in action. So let's go to our, let's create a new account. Rating account. So as of now, there is nothing present in rating field. Now let's insert a case with status closed. Click on new. Case origin will be phone. Status will be closed. Guys, maybe you will not be able to see closed value in status field. So for that you need to go to support setting and you need to check this checkbox. After checking this checkbox you will be able to see it. Go to account again. Save it. See now rating is cold which means our code is working fine for insert operation. Let's add two more cases with status other than closed. Click on new. On. Save a new. Let's say web and save it and let's update their status to closed save it update its status also 
Now, according to our logic, if there are more than two closed cases present on an account, then the account rating should be warm. So let's check account rating. Go to details. See, it is warm, which means update operation is also working fine. Now let's delete a case. Delete it. Refresh it. Now rating has changed, which means delete operation is working fine. And now let's check for undelete. For that, let's go to recycle bin. And let's restore it. Go to account again. Now the rating is warm, which means undelete is also working fine. Now there is only one scenario left, which is changing parent account of case. For that, let's create another account. Rating account 2. Save it. Go to first account. And let's change parent account of this case. Save it. Refresh it again. Now, rating should be called for this account, which is correct. Go to this account, go to details. Rating is also called, which means a trigger is working fine for every operation. So that's it for today, guys, and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you.